because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, when I deliver him, I will set him on high. Because he has known my name. He should call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. For long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation.
chapter 3. I will start at verse 13. But, what I, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brother, mm -hmm. concerning them of which I sleep, yeah. that you sorrow not, mm -hmm. even as others which have no hope. Mm -hmm. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them, that also in Jesus, for God reigns with him. But this we was, but this we say unto you, yeah. by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and reflect and remain until the coming of the Lord, should not prevent them from which I sleep. Yes. For the Lord himself shall be seen from heaven with his shout, with the voice of our angel, and with the trunk of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds yes. to meet the Lord in the earth. And we shall 
devil be with the Lord. Where, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Where the God for the people of God. Amen.
Old Testament scripture. And we thank Brother Milton Sharp for the New Testament scripture. And thanks, Sister Yvonne Linda, for that soul story. To God be the glory. Amen. To God be the glory. Now we thank God. We thank God for this heavenly arm music.
as you move right along, uh, we have remarks now, and we have on the program limit two minutes to play these expressions. Sister Jacqueline Sharp and Elder Michael Wiggins and Marilyn Wheeler, in that order. God bless you. Thank you. 
I've been known really to who a little boys. Amen. Every time I see him, he has something funny to say. Yes. He's always moving fast, like he had somewhere to go. Yes. I had an occasion to get him to do some work for me one day at the house, doing some cable work or whatever. And I'm sitting there waiting on Willie. I'm looking for Willie. Willie don't come. <laughs> I had to go find the thing. That's how fast he moved around the world. But the most important thing I want, what I want to say to the family and to everybody in here today, salvation. Yes. You must have salvation. Oh, yes. You must be. You have to be. You got to be born again. Amen. The world as we know it today is in chaos, Amen. but it's also still full of the goodness of God. Amen. There's Amen. nothing too hard for God. Yes. Amen. I don't care what you're going through, yes. what you're going through, what you're going to go through. Yes. If you keep your hand in God's hand, yes. you'll be able to make it easy. Yes. You'll be able to do just like they said about Willie. Mm-hmm. You have a Savior. Yes. And then once you make him Savior of your life, mm-hmm. then do this. Make him Lord yes. of your life. Yes. Okay. Yes. All yes. All yes. 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 Emphasize that is because you know being saved will get you in heaven. Right. If you make him Lord over your life, you will to live through this chaos down here. Yeah. 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 So that your yeah. brother, your sister, yeah. your father, your neighbor, yeah. whoever can see your life, yeah. they can follow that same pain. Yeah. 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 We yeah. are our brother's keeper. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He saw something in the uh, homeless shelter that led him to Christ, that led him to salvation. Yes. That wasn't happenstance that he wound up in the homeless shelter. Yes. Over the path that God set for him. Hey, 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 hey. I'm, I'm glad to hear yes. that. I'm not going to stay here and ramble, but I, I'm reminded of a song by the late George Dickens Jr. Mm-hmm. If you're not doing it God's way, you're doing it wrong. Two ladies. 
I just want to leave this poem with me, put my two minutes up probably already, but I'm going to do some poem. I'm going to sit down. It says, to whom? To those whom I love, those who love me. When I'm gone, release me. Let me go. Yes. I have so many things to see and do. You mustn't tie yourself to me and too many tears, but be thankful we had so many good years. Yeah. Yeah. Right. To the family, I say you have a deep sympathy. And like I say, he's home, he's gone home where my mom and my auntie is. Mm -hmm. Now I know that they'll come on home. I want to tell you, Willie has a new home. Right. A brand new home. Yeah. A brand new home. And I thank you, God, that you gave him lots of times. And just like he said, we got to go this way. But you got to be ready to go this way. You right. have to give your life to Christ. Right. That's just what I'm yeah. saying. Thank you so much. Yeah.
Yeah, the church, amen. God bless you. I know the prayer will change us. And he will.
what effect it has on us sometimes. Don't do, don't do something just to be doing it. Because right. grandma did it and granddad did it. You know what you're doing. Why are you doing it? God bless you. Amen. I tell you this, I'm going to go ahead on. <laughs> They, 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 they tell, you know, folks cooking a ham. <laughs> One lady cooking a ham, and she cut the shank off the ham. Um, and uh, somebody, the little boy was looking at her, so I said, Mom, why you cut the shank off the ham? She said, well, I don't know. She said, Grandma always did, so I did too. And they searched it out and found out the reason Grandma cut the shank off the ham because her pan wasn't large enough. Huh? Now we're cooking that big pan and still cutting it to shank off the hand. Thought grandma did. That's how we do it all our time. So God be the glory. Family, we love you. God love you. Amen. God gonna get you through this. Amen. As Elder Wiggins said a uh, while ago, the best thing that we heard about Willie. Would you be yourself Christ in you? Huh? All that other stuff is preliminary. It really don't matter. Huh? It's good that he was a good guy. It's good that he made you smile. It's good that he was a person that you love to be around. But had he not accepted Christ in his life, all that wouldn't have been huh? Main thing, he'll accept Christ. Amen. Sometimes we go to funeral and we get up and talk about people and the person won't say, you know what we say? They were full of lies. They always make you laugh. They were good to be around. But I just stopped by to tell you, a person died without Christ in their life. I don't care how funny they were, how humorous they were, how much they make you laugh. They were not full of lies. The Bible said, she that lived in pleasure is dead while she lived. And that goes for the men folk too. Huh? Amen. You can have all the good time you want to. Make all the folk laugh. Huh? Folk love to be around you. But if you are not saved, you are not full of life. You are full of death. Now, I can't make it no plain to that, can I? Appointment to keep. Right. And we got a judgment to me. Right. 
You know, through life we have given appointment. Some of you got doctor appointments tomorrow. That's right. Hey, man. Got an appointment. You ain't got me if you don't want to. You can call him on and say, I won't be here. I said, Mr. Angler, I want to cancel my appointment. I want to postpone it. I'm coming in another day. He'll, he'll postpone it for you. If you want to cancel it, he'll cancel it for you. But there are one point in it. You got the key. You can't call it in the You can't postpone it. And you can't forget about it. Because it's going to happen. Whether you like it or not. Every one of us got to stand before God and be just. First of all, every one of us got to die. If Christ don't come back in the rapture, every one of us going to stay right where we're in. Uh, the body is. Uh, soul going to go back and be with the Lord and say, and you die without the Lord, then your soul is going to hell. Right? Wait till the great judgment. All right. Right? But every one of us got his point man. And you know one thing about death? Uh-huh. I don't care how often we experience death. We never get used to it. Uh-huh. Every time somebody dies, yes. it's a new experience. Uh-huh. Seems like we ought to be used to yes. death by now, don't we? Yes. But we never get used to it. Yes. You know why we don't get used to it? Because man was not a point to die. Man was not made to die. No. Man was made to live. Uh-huh. That's why come we don't get used to them. That's why come a lot of us fear them. That's why, because we wasn't made to die. Right. We were made to live. Right. Huh? But when Adam and Eve messed up in the garden of Eve, right. huh? right. death passed on to everybody. All, right. all of us lie right. in the norm are Adam. Right. Huh? Adam is all our father. Right. Eve is all our mother. Right. So when Adam and Eve sinned, sin was passed on to all mankind. Amen. Right. Huh? Right. And except we repent and ask the Lord come to our life, we're going to die in our sins. Say so. And that's why we die, saints. Man was not meant to die. Right. That's why we never get used to die. Mm-hmm. Right? Amen. And we right. never get used to it. Yeah, is an enemy. Uh-huh. Help the Holy Ghost. The Bible said the last enemy that's going to be destroyed is death. Did you know death got to die one day? Read the book of Revelation. God said death and hell were passed into the lake of fire. Now, when we know no more death, when Christ comes back, huh? To redeem all things to himself. But until then, people going to keep right on dying. Huh? And if you die without the Lord, your soul is in trouble. Yes, Amen. And I can't make it no claim today. Uh, amen. Uh, so the Lord loves us all. Yes, Every one of us. Uh-huh. I don't who I don't care who you are. Yeah, right. Huh? What, you what you've been? Uh-huh. What you done? Uh-huh. What you still doing now? Uh-huh. God still does. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He may he don't love what you're doing if you're living in sin. Uh-huh. Huh? He don't love sin now. Uh-huh. But he loves you. Uh-huh. He loves the sin. And all of us are born in sin. Right. Shake in the knee. Yes. And except we repent from our sin. Yes. We all go yes. hurt. Come on. Die in the yes. It's time somebody tell the truth. Yes. We've been jumping and stomping and hooping and hiding yes. too long, so long. Yes. We think that's what church is all about. When souls are dying and going to hell. Yes. Huh? Yes. Amen. Church is still jumping and hollering and carrying on and acting foolish and everything. Tell the folk the truth. This world is getting bad. Because it's right wrong and wrong. Huh? Amen. Amen. And we don't got so engulfed in this world, so much like the world. Now we'll believe, sometimes we'll believe more what the world says than what God says. Amen. I would tell you, darn it. During the time of the pandemic, uh-huh. I went through some. I experienced some that I never seen before. Uh-huh. With church folk, uh-huh. faith folk, uh-huh. much of we talked about having faith uh-huh. and being safe. Uh-huh. And when I saw how church folk were that, yeah. huh? scared to come to church, scared to go out, scared to do anything. Yeah. Huh? Where is the faith that we talked about so much? Yeah. Huh? It took me for a spin, I'm telling you the truth. Not only a whole lot of that. But we've been preaching and we've been teaching. And y'all have been shouting. Y'all have been hollering. Y'all have been saying, God is my holy home. For God I live and for God I die. And then when you thought you were about to die, you got 
supposed to be setting the standard. Yeah. We, we think folks be pointing folks to our God. Yeah. Telling folks what our God is. Yeah. But what we do? Went in the house and shut the door.
the morning calendar, as we often say, count your years as months, count your months as weeks, count your weeks as days, and any day now, we're all before. Again, on behalf of myself and the management staff of Heavenly All Standard Mortuary, again, family, we say thank you. Thank you for trusting your love with us. We certainly hope our services were satisfactory. Just a few days ago, we met with the family discussing things about Mr. Dupree, things that he loved. He said he loved pork skin and he loved Kool Aid. So today, in his room, we're going to try to provide everyone here with some pork skin and some Kool Aid. The big turn will follow right here at the church cemetery. Also, the family has requested that we'll be a final view, and we ask everyone to please, please remain where you are until you're directed. At this time, we're asked the Heavenly Arms Music Ministry to give us a song as we prepare for final view.
He is right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everyone gather in closer, please. Just call it. Are we good? Just come on in closer. We good. You sure? Everyone gather in closer. Behind the family, please. We give our attention to the pastor this time for the communal rights at this time. Sting of death is sin, and strength of sin is the law. But thank be to God who giveth us the victory through Jesus Christ. I heard a voice from heaven say, Right, blessed are the dead that die in the Lord from him. Yea, said the Spirit, for they rest from their labor, and their work do follow. Let us go to God in prayer. Our Father, and our God in heaven, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you once again for another time, another opportunity. Allowed us to come together. We thank you for the life of our dear brother here. Thank you for the years that you have allowed him to be with us, God. God, we pray that you just give the family strength to go through what you want to. Let them know the earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Even in the time of sorrow, God, when all their friends and all the relatives have gone back home, God, we know sometimes they'll sit around and feel their heart will be heavily, God. But at those times, give them the strength they need. God, we know that you are able. Now, I pray that you would bless the friend and relative that came from far and near to be with the family at this time. God, we love you, we praise you, and we thank you for all things. Your servant prayer for Christ. Amen. Amen. Benediction, please. Let us all look to the Lord and be dismissed. Now, may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest in and abide with us in for and forevermore. Just before leaving, we have a few more presentations. Our first presentation is our memorial. And our memorial tent. Again, the need of the family does not stop here at the cemetery. The family needs your prayers and thoughts and anything you can do for them in days and days to come. Again, on behalf of myself and the management staff, we're heading on to the mortuary. Again, we say thank you.
Thank you for trusting your loved one with us. We certainly hope we are done something to merit your confidence. Just before leaving, um, if you turn your focus behind me, in front of you, if you like to come from the tent, we're going to release a memorial dove of Mr. Dupree's memory.